the Center for International Intelligent Transportation Research assist the, the city of El Paso with the local uh, transit agency, Sun Metro, doing some work regarding origin destination studies. We use Wi-Fi and Bluetooth technology. We noticed that passengers use their wireless devices like a smartphone or a tablet or uh, even laptop. So we took advantage of that and we tried to develop a detection system. Every passenger that boards the Sun Metro buses were identified using an antenna that was installed in the vehicle. We're able to get information from them as where they pick up the bus, where they get off, what will be the main uh, bus stops being used, what stops are not being used. Those tools will be very, very beneficial to San Metro because it will not, not only help us uh, plan the route itself, like if we have more people going from this point to this point, we can have better routing, but also to indicate if some bus stops are being used, if some are not, or where do we need to make a stop, things like that. Traditional methods require a lot of surveyors, and at least you need to have 10% of your total daily ridership to know the basic origin destination patterns. With this type of methodology, the wireless technology, our preliminary results show that this type of methods cost 30 to 50 percent less than traditional methodologies. The biggest advantage is that with this method you cover 100 percent of ridership instead of just covering a fraction like in the traditional method. Also, we reduce the time of collecting data because you can cover that in one day. By using the technology and using this program, it might help us reduce those resources that are needed to be able to gather the same information. We are getting results on cheaper, more reliable, and faster.